weather forecast. It is a hot day to go door to door. I will tell you, hopefully they offered you some water uh, on your trip through because it was a hot one today. Beautiful sunrise, but watch these clouds start to filter in as with the day went on. Start to see a few of those watch right from behind my head. There's gonna be a storm that pops up, goes right over and there's those downpours out across the Roanoke Valley. That's what we've been seeing. It did cool us down. We were at 97 the last check before the storms came through and we've now dropped down about 10 degrees in just a very short amount of time. That's what the rain could do for you. Same thing. It replied now at 88, we're at 84 in Bluefield. Compare that to areas that have not gotten the rain. Lynchburg at 97 over to uh, Phoenix and South Boston running at 98. I think some of our backyard weather stations probably got up to 100 degrees this afternoon. So send me a, a Facebook message if you did get up there. I will tell you this is some of the hottest weather we've seen so far this summer for some of our hometowns. Now for those of you that have gotten showers, it kind of knocked down the temperatures a little bit, maybe uh, from keeping us uh, in reaching that maximum potential, but I'll tell you, I don't think anybody's complaining about getting some rain out there. We did have the showers that moved through parts of the Roanoke Valley. Salem still seeing a little bit of that into the Roanoke Valley. That's now drifted into southern Botetourt. Troutville, Blue Ridge, Fink Castle, you're probably going to get some of that. It might be right on the edge, but it's kind of tracking right along the ID1 corridor. So if uh, you're in and around Buchanan, I know it's going to kind of track right towards you if it holds together. So heads up, nothing severe with these that we're seeing. Most of the severe storms have actually stayed over in parts of West Virginia. I kind of moved this over and you can see one of them right there. That's that severe storm uh, just west of Beckley. But the majority of these kind of tracking right along parts of West Virginia and the Virginia border. So I think the Allegheny Highland you guys probably have a little bit better chance of seeing those as we get over the next couple hours. Then we transition into the influence from this cold front right here. And so notice how there's a line of rain that's set up along that. Honestly, that's what I'm hoping that we'll get. Uh, it's always a, you know, kind of a toss, whether that makes its way through, uh, how much energy is still left over. But some of the models are suggesting we could get some of that rain as we get into the late evening and almost into early Thursday morning. So this is future view, kind of showing those shower chances as we head a little closer to 9, 10 o'clock tonight. And again, I think this one might be overdone, but at least gives you the idea that we might see some rain. Uh, if we get widespread rain, oh my gosh, that will be very beneficial. I think it's probably not going to be as much as what we see here, but a little bit more scattered in nature. So let's talk about tomorrow. We see that cooler weather, subtle cool down, come back probably a little more like 90 in Roanoke, Lynchburg, Danville tomorrow about 88 and then low 80s through the New River Valley. The winds are going to be light, but they're coming from a little bit different direction. So a bit of a northwest wind tomorrow that should hopefully cut down on some of the humidity. It does come back though by the weekend. So Friday actually a little bit better. And then by the time we get into Saturday and Sunday, look at those highs into those low and even some mid 90s along with the humidity is going to make it feel more like the upper 90s out there. So to be quite honest, Friday, probably my pick of the outdoor days. So if you've got some things you can do outdoors, get those done because look at the dew points. They come back up almost into the oppressive range as we head into the weekend. I'm going to take you out. Let's go way out in the next seven days and give you the idea that uh, next Monday, Tuesday, we may end up seeing a little bit of a, a cool down and uh, shave off some humidity, but it comes back in for Wednesday and also the 4th of July, right around 95 degrees is what we're forecasting for the 4th.